Hi, I'm Oliver, and I'm going to show you how to get the Maplin robotic arm working with the Raspberry Pi. I'll just log in. So, Oliver, we're going to do this from scratch, right? Like, yes. Right from the top. Yeah, right from the top. And then we're going to put the files in the YouTube video at the bottom. Yes. Yeah, yeah cool. We'll put it in there. So we'll put links in because we think this is a pretty cool project. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Right, so talk us through it. What, what do we actually need to get? What, what parts do we need right, before we well, start? Right, well, there's the. You need the libraries to run the. You need the program to run it. Right. You need the libraries that are required to run the program. Yeah. And you need yeah, and in within the libraries there's a setup um, file, and you need to run that. Okay. So this is kind of make more sense when we see yeah, it. Yeah. Right? So firstly, I'll just. Right. So here's my. Uh, stick with. The files on, so I'll just copy them over there. Oh. Okay, so that folder should, yeah, you've already got it yeah. in there. Um, cool. Where is it? There. So in there, I've Oops. got this one. Right, so there's the file that we need. Alright. So if we go on the LX terminal. So anybody watching the video should be able to just copy them across oh, in yeah. the USB stick. Uh -huh. And then the LX um, terminal, you, that should be on your desktop anyway. Yep. Yeah. And we go LS. LS, what does LS do? It finds which folders you've got. Yeah, it lists room. everything that's in that area. Uh-huh. Cool. And then we want the robotic arm folder. So cool. CD. Which is what we just dragged across, yeah. isn't it? We want CD to change the directory. Mm-hmm. And there you go. CD and then the robot arm folder. Yeah. So we're going to that. So now we're in there. And now LS. Let's find out what's inside there, yeah. To list all the stuff in there. Cool. So we want to go into the Pi USB there. Yeah, good. Because we, we, we think that this file is like working out which USB port yes. um, the robot arm's working in on. Because yeah. we were using the, ro instead of using the GPIO pins, we're using this cable here, uh -huh. which is the one that comes like as standard with the, um, with the, robot, with the arm. robot arm. As an extension activity, we want to start using the actual GPIO yeah, pins. and taking these out. And... Yeah, for extra stuff. Uh -huh. um, so have we got it? So um, we're in the, so we go in the robot arm CD. folder. Yeah, and we're looking for the... Pi US. There That's you go. It. And you're using tab to autofill there, yes. aren't you? Cool. And then once you've found it, yeah. you go sudo mm -hmm. python, oh, python setup.py, which is the folder, which is the program they want to Wait, run. wait, we have an ls to find out that it's in there. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. Just because we want everyone watching the video to understand what's going on. Yeah, yeah. So we're in this um, CD uh, USB folder. And if we press L, if we type ls, so there's the program we want to run. That's setup.py. Set up PY. Cool. So you go sudo. What does uh, sudo do? Um, oh. it's like the overrun command. So yeah. You make, lets you do. Oh, stuff. like yeah, like yeah. it makes your admin done it really. Yeah. So sudo sudo python mm -hmm. setup.py. Cool. Install. Cool. So and then when you press enter, you run that. It kind of does all do. its business, doesn't it? Yeah. Then? All this stuff. And then you want to sudo idle three and to that's open gonna, yeah. idle three. That's going to open like idle like it normally would be, but as admin. Yeah, as admin, so you can. Yeah. Cool. Which you may have had to do if you're making uh, LEDs blink and things like that, because yeah, yeah. it's the same type of a dealio. So there's our so idle just, window, and we're going to open up. So we go file open. So in the same folder that we pulled in from the stick. Yeah. Yeah, uh, if we go back it up. It should be, yeah, there, robotarm.py. Right, cool. So if we go on that. And is this the one we got off David Williams or the one we got off Pete Dring? Um, David Williams. Yeah, we can't remember because we lost track yeah. of how many <laughs> files we had to go through. Right, okay. And so that's what you get. That's what you get. So these are the all different the commands, so you can see what it does. Cool. Rotate, anti-clockwise, yeah. all that. Now at the moment it runs all of those, so it does like a yes. little dance, doesn't it? Uh -huh. And we don't want that. We no. want to... So if you... Now, the reason we don't want that is because our arms are already in a kind of capa uh, caparious position, I was going to say. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. A precarious, precarious position, yeah. <laughs> caparious position. Right. So if you go to format <laughs> and comment out region, so cool. none of them are working. Doing so because the hashtags there are not going to work. Mm -hmm. so All right. And then we just want what, like the shoulder? Shoulder up, yeah, I think so. So, if so we're just looking in the comment and we're finding the one that says yeah, shoulder, shoulder up and we're up uncommenting that mm -hmm. and then you're going with 16400. Yeah, so if you change that to say 2, 
That will yeah. change the duration of how long it moves for. Okay, let's have a look at so this then. let's run this. And in theory, a successful robot arm. Moving on. And that's how you do it. Yeah. Thank Chipper. you for watching. That's the one. Cool.